Hey guys, it's Starfield Dad back with another video. And today I wanted to talk about what Phil Spencer said at Gamescom yesterday because it sent cold chills up my back. It got me so much more excited than I already was for Starfield, if you can believe that. But without further ado, let's talk about what he said. So yesterday, the Xbox boss, Phil Spencer, said that Starfield was more Oblivion than Skyrim. And I would say we could trust him because he has over 200 hours in Starfield played. The interview with Spencer that was done with IGN let Spencer talk about a little bit of his playthroughs. He said, and I quote, I think I'm on my 15th playthrough and I'm probably 200 hours in, but not on one playthrough. So how long has it taken for Phil Spencer to rack up those many hours? Well, fans first spotted Spencer playing Starfield on his Xbox X back in July. But as it turns out, he's had access to the Bethesda game since November, 2022. Coincidentally enough, that's around the time we were supposed to get the game before it was delayed again into 2023. Of course, I imagine that's one of the perks of being the Microsoft Gaming CEO. But the real story here is when he said that the game is more like Oblivion than it is Skyrim. And for people who've played, maybe they'll get that, he said. Now, this isn't the first time we've heard it compared to Skyrim or Oblivion, but it's shocking to me that the CEO would liken it to Elder Scrolls 4 rather than 5. Though he didn't elaborate any more on why he said what he said about comparing it to more Oblivion than Skyrim, it's really got me thinking. For one, we know Starfield has over four times as much dialogue as Skyrim, which really puts it in perspective just how big the game is set to be. And the Starfield dialogue system is also a modern take on Oblivion's persuasion mechanics, which if you don't know, is why they talk about the mini game of the persuasion system. That was a big thing in Oblivion. You could talk to characters you meet and Oblivion would let you persuade them into a mini game. And how you would do that in Oblivion is you would have a certain set of choices you could pick from, and depending on their facial expression, you kind of knew where to go to from there. In Oblivion, that involved trying to get the biggest wedges of the circle on the good faces and the smaller wedges on the bad. The pie slices effectively represented a score that you wanted high points on best reactions and low points on the worst ones. Because each choice rotated the circle, you had to think ahead to try and score well and avoid making people hate you more. Now we've known about that dialogue system for some time that was coming in Starfield, so that's no secret. And I may be getting overzealous on thinking what Phil said when he said it's more Oblivion than Skyrim, but my initial thoughts on that and the biggest thing that made the hair stand up on the back of my neck was that Oblivion's story was so much better and detailed than Skyrim's was. And let me explain that. Skyrim overall is my favorite all-time BGS game, no doubt about it. But if I had to rank it on only story alone, Oblivion's just takes the cake. And I'm not saying that Skyrim's story was bad, because it wasn't, it was very good. But if I had to rank them two side by side, Oblivion is just a far better one in every aspect of it. Whether it's from storytelling, length, and everything. The attention to details in Oblivion's story really made it stick out more than any other game I've ever played. And if you're like me, the first initial reaction that got me so excited for Starfield was to know that it was a true new IP from Bethesda that made Oblivion in Skyrim. And because of that, I know the story is going to be great. And with Phil Spencer saying that, it almost sounds like an exclamation point on that aspect of that the story will be phenomenal. But as always, let me know what you think in the comments. Are you buying Starfield just for the gameplay and the different mechanics and the base building and ship building and outpost? Or are you doing it for a multitude of things like the story as well, like me? As always, I am so grateful for this community and that we've built up to 500 subscribers. I couldn't have done this without your all's help. So really, let me know in the comments what you think. And from the bottom of my heart, I am so grateful that you've come along this journey with me and we have so much good things coming forward. Until next time, guys, this is Starfield Dad at Astra.